this is the Walmart I stayed at in Salt Lake. It's, it's a suburb of Salt Lake, but it's in the Salt Lake City area. These mountains are so close to the Walmart, you can touch them. That's crazy, isn't it? Good morning, noon, day, evening, depending on what time you watch this. I woke up this morning in Salt Lake City in the parking lot here at Walmart and showed the picture already of that mountainside. It's almost so close to the parking lot you can touch it. It's really cool. It's the same row of mountains that just runs parallel with Salt Lake City if you've ever been here. It's really cool. Um, I slept pretty good. It was so quiet. I'm the only guy here that's just staying overnight. Probably the only one. Occasional RV will come through in here with me sometimes. Um, I'm going to go get a shower. It's Planet Fitness down the road here. And there's no Panera Bread, but there's a Starbucks. I remember over here behind me, it was walking distance, right just across the street here. And uh, I'll be sitting over there getting some work done and getting that done. And we'll be here probably for most of the week. There's a few places I want to go and things I want to see. And we'll see where it goes, my friends. Should be cool. I'm going to go get the shower so I can get me a cup of coffee and get on with my day. Whew! I tell you, we will get it done. The weather's going to be beautiful. It already is here today. We shall see. Well, I am In a headed mile, to Antelope Island, Island State, State Park. Park. I mentioned this place before, and I went back. I toured it in 2019. I didn't really drive through all of it. It was raining that day, and the weather wasn't real nice. And I want to go back. I really do. It's something to do. I'm going to be here, here, here the whole week anyway. And Keep left to stay on I-15 North. I got some work done at the Starbucks next to where I stayed. And uh, got that done, which is good. Uh, still not sure whether I'm going to stay at that Walmart tonight. Because either I didn't look and didn't see the signs in 2019. But I wasn't the only RV there either. But since then, things may have changed. So there's a sign like right behind my van that said, no RVs and no trucks overnight anytime. But mine is not an obvious RV, but if that vehicle's hanging out there long enough, they start seeing it there, they might be inclined to assume I'm staying in it. So probably best for me to move around. So the good thing is there is a Cracker Barrel right up the road. So we're gonna hit that tonight. I'm going to change venue a little bit. And I'm pretty sure where this Cracker Barrel is up here, there's some places to sit and work and do some things. So anyway, we will uh, we'll cut you in on the cool, man, when it comes along here shortly. Sign says, bison may be dangerous. Oh yeah, they might, just might be. I don't think you want to approach them or attempt them. <laughs> All right. Clean the window. Good. Now, two years ago, that thing, that was full of water when I came through here. The Antelope Island State Park was named after it was an island with a lot of antelope. Um, Apparently, I and mean, I think two years ago, and I can't remember how it was explained to me, but two years ago, someone, maybe it was a park ranger, someone explained to me that it was a disease or something happened that, that killed them off. And they're, I don't even think there are any at all on the island anymore, but you see a lot of bison, buffalo, and maybe other wildlife. But the only thing I've seen is buffalo and bison, so we shall see. But, uh,. There's a back side of the park I didn't drive in 2019. I'm going to drive. I think it's cool. And there's an overlook up here that I did go up. And I thought it was beautiful. And we're going to get a shot of that. It's just cool. This is definitely something to see if you're in Salt Lake City area. Come see this park. It's beautiful. Um, and this is the perfect day and the perfect weather to do it. The sun is out. It's, the weather's going to be beautiful all week. Uh, it's 64 degrees. It's just perfect. The only thing is that these flies are freaking annoying. But they're harmless. Oh, they're annoying. They're everywhere. But uh, it's worth putting up with them for for this. It really is. It's cool.
It's a beautiful view. This, I came up here in 2019. And it was raining, so I didn't get a good view. This is beautiful. Overlooking these lakes. This is Antelope Island State Park. It's strong, man. The smell of it attracts these flies. They're so bad. But it's beautiful. On the hill from this overlook, it's kind of a windy road. I drove this in my RV, my Winnebago Trend, two years ago, which was really not that much bigger than this van, except it was taller and a little bit wider. A few feet, maybe a couple of feet longer, two or three feet longer. Some more campsites down there. And right over here, you see some RV spots, campsites over here. You'd be camping out here and buffalo and bison will walk up on you and walk you walking around you. It's interesting. Now, I don't think this leads anywhere but RV spots, which means we'll turn around and there's a road up there, I believe. We're gonna go around the other side on that deal. We're not really getting anywhere over here. This is gonna loop around probably dead end. So you got campgrounds here, which is kind of cool. But I took the wrong turn because this is just a loop for the campground. I think she says 20 bucks a night additional. So 35, you can tour the park and you can pretty much stay overnight if you want to do it. They have a dump station and facilities. I don't know about water and electric. It may be primitive. Look at that view. Okay, so this is where we came in. Over there, can't hear from the wind, but over there is another road that goes around the other side of the park. That's the loop that I didn't drive, with the exception of those RV spots over there. So we're going to go that way. That should be cool. Calls it the historic Fielding Gar Ranch. 9 a.m. to 5. Well, we got 20 minutes. And if there's a gate or something, we'll turn around because I don't want to get caught. Do not want to get caught out here locked in. Beautiful. In Buffalo Crossing. In fact, there's looks like one sitting down over here. He's dead. Dead asleep. <laughs> this is beautiful. I tell you, you get out here and you start smelling these lakes. It's pretty putrid. It takes a little getting used to it. And these flies are everywhere, folks. Sorry about the camera. The flies are annoying. They really are. 
So guys, it's these flies are just annoying. They're harmless, but it's the salt in the lakes that attract them, and it's just oh. And for the life of me, I, it's, I got a picture of it when I walked through the museum back in 2019. What they're called, and it'll come to me, and I'll mention what type of fly it is. And uh, we'll uh, see what the rest of this park has to offer because I didn't drive through at all in 2019. So we're gonna. We're gonna go up here and see uh, see the rest of this park. It's pretty cool. your bison or your buffalo as they say we'll get a shot of those in a little bit I'm gonna walk out here, stay on the parking lot because snakes do exist out here. We don't want to find out. But this is a view of Salt Lake City, the whole way from Ogden Layton all the way down. That's the view of the city. Let's see if we can zoom in on this. that whole city across the lakes it's about as far as you can see right there but you can see just how far out we are I was kind of wondering why it was so quiet up here the visitor center closes at four o'clock <laughs> go figure I was like gee it's a lot quieter than it was back in 2019 because I was here on a weekend which is still the case but didn't realize that the actual museum and all it closes at four o'clock. The park's open till 10, but oh well. Cool. And there's where your museum and stuff is. A map of the island. If you look closely, you see a cool glare on that lake. Look at that glare. That's not my camera. That's coming off that water. That sun is glaring off of it. It's real cool looking. Beautiful. So the move of the time restrictions back here. I don't have a lot of time to drive too far that way. I, don't know, I guess it loops around, but I'm, I'm not sure. This is all closing up at 5 o'clock. However, we'll get a better view of the, going all the way to the top point of Salt Lake down to Provo. Going all the way up to Ogden. As you can see.
smoke in the sky over there. It's like somebody's house or something caught fire. That's not good. That's a beautiful view. Absolutely gorgeous. Those salt flats where usually we'll bottom that lake. Water comes up, I guess, seasonally at certain times, but that is crazy loud. And folks, if you don't think there's other creatures out here, a coyote just ran right out in front of me in broad daylight. Went down, I didn't see, I didn't get to get a video of him, but he was running across the road, right there towards the lake over here. Salt bottoms or whatever you call them. Well, folks, that's Antelope Island State Park. Absolutely beautiful. And I'll tell you, the weather is incredible. I've got the wind down, the breeze, and it just feels great. It does. So my battery is dying on this camera. I've got to get it charged. But this is definitely a park to come see if you're in the Salt Lake area. It really is. It's so cool. And uh, from this point, I'm going to head out and just kind of venture around Salt Lake a little bit. i got a few hours to do it. Why not? When in Rome, as they say. <laughs>